Kurt, part of a game. Is it mine? The Krusty Krab. While you're here in the curtain, make sure to visit our electrifying collection of spectacular sideshows. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to Circus Circus. How are you today? and unveiling our brand new Spongebob Crazy Carnival ride. Yes. For those of you that have been here for a while, you've seen a big black curtain that has been behind me. It has been a year in the making, but we did it. We were able to do this with the help of Sally Darkride, who came up with a fantastic ride for all of us and the partnership between Paramount, Nickelodeon, and Circus Circus. I am so proud to be standing here and can truly say that Circus Circus is the family property on the Las Vegas Strip. So before we get going, before all of you are encouraged to ride this ride and experience it for yourself, I'm gonna have Marie Marks from Paramount come up and say a few words. children and their families all around the world in 170 countries and in no less than 30 different languages. He is, it is, the most watched animated series and has been for 22 years, which is incredible. Spongebob has inspired toys, apparel, accessories, and even has his very own Tony Award winning Broadway musical. And uh, now, he's got his very own dark ride right here in Circus Circus Las Vegas. <laughs> Dark Rides has been an incredible experience from the very beginning. When we first started discussing this ride, I think we knew two things. One, we all love SpongeBob, that's why I wear the t-shirt. And uh, two, we wanted to immerse his fans in his world in a high caliber, uh, you know, very uh, high-end way. And I, SpongeBob's Crazy Carnival ride was exactly that. And I'm so proud to, to be able to give you all today. The ride itself, I mean, it just, it puts people, uh, the, the riders themselves, right in the story. And it, it's hot ride, hot game, and let me tell you, it's just all SpongeBob. I want to say uh, thank you to our partners, and I want to say thank you to uh, Sally Darkride for bringing this to us. I want to say thank you to everybody that has brought us here to this moment. And I hope that each and every one of you enjoy like we have right in life. All right, John Wood, and if you'll come up here with us, John Wood is from Sally's. Thank you. Hi. Congratulate you on the opening of this new attraction. Thank you. Um, and so, uh, uh, one of the first questions is: SpongeBob, Squ SpongeBob SquarePants. Uh, what is it like to develop an attraction with such an iconic and popular IP? It's incredible. This was really a dream project. Um, I've been a SpongeBob fan since the late '90s. I've watched every episode, seen every movie, seen SpongeBob on Broadway. I love SpongeBob. So when this came up, it was just really a dream. 
Um, so so how, did, how did that happen? Um, uh, did, did you guys approach them, or did somebody, was were they looking to make something? So, so um, Nickelodeon originally approached us with an idea to do some type of a carnival attraction based around SpongeBob. And so that was about five years ago. We developed the story um, in coordination with their team. And over that five years, we pitched it to a number of different theme parks and hotels. And um, Circus Circus, uh, thank you, thank you, <laughs> uh, decided they wanted to put that into their new space here uh, just outside the Adventure Dome. And so um, we got to work and finished up the concept. Then went into production, and that was about a year and a half ago. And so now we, here we find ourselves here today, sure. having fun. So the uh, the carnival theme, they came to you with that. They and did. That, that was kind of a, a, there from the beginning. Yeah, uh, yeah, because yeah, that absolutely. really lends itself well to the you know, shooting. Game. That's right. Um, so uh, there's a variety of interactive elements in the ride. How were those created? Uh, you know, when we develop an interactive attraction. It's not only important to get a good game, but it's also going to have a good story. And so balancing those two is always really tricky. Um, with a Sally Dark ride, we like to have interactive things that are happening on screen with animation and CG, but also have practical moments where you can shoot at things. And uh, so you'll notice in the attraction where you'll go from a midway game to a transitional space where we've got like the ring of doom where you can blast it's kind of a high striker yes. but you blast it ding, 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 yep. and then it hits the bell bing. yeah and uh those moments are really important um so uh what what were the challenges you faced when building this sure you know it was a, it was also very important for us to have a long track and this space is only about 5,000 square feet, including retail. So getting a long attraction with high capacity in a small space is a little bit of a challenge. But, you know, we're, we're experts at kind of fitting a ride into a space like this. And so, uh, you know, it was, it was easily overcome. But, but that was a big challenge. So uh, do you, what's your favorite part about this? Do you have a favorite My part favorite of the ride? Part, you know, it's interacting with the characters and being in Bikini Bottom, you'll notice that the sets and scenery are kind of oversized, and that's to make you feel like a Bikini Bottom. Sure, yeah. And uh, getting to be next to SpongeBob and Patrick and Squidward and Plankton, all these great characters, it's just, that's my favorite part, getting to see the characters in real life. Excellent. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, and, thank uh, you. We look forward to the next thing that uh, you guys are going to be putting I love, out. I love uh, Dark Ride Data. So thank you very much, Dark Ride Data. Awesome. For being a, being a, a really uh, a major force in the industry. So thank, awesome. thank you very much. Yeah. Thanks so much. Yes, thank you. Uh,